Hey guys, it's Yurk back with uh, my second uh, part of the micro audio. Now I know I was talking about uh, doing uh, orc versus orc, orc versus human, orc versus night elf, orc versus undead, but to tell you the truth, that kind of get boring and I mean, it's almost all the same and all I'd be showing you guys is examples of when to do what. So I think it's much better if I go over a whole different uh, aspect of micro. First of all here, uh, let's get the game paused at the uh, two minute mark. Uh, nothing really happens in the first two minutes, so uh, micro related. So uh, get the game paused there. Uh, we Today we have a, a game from Star Wars and uh, it's A Headache uh, playing W-E underscore Soju, I think that's how you say his name. Whatever, it's weird, so. And uh, this is on Turtle Rock. And this is quite a close game. We'll be watching from the Night Elf point of view, just because, I don't know. You usually don't see too many orcs uh, play, uh, using ranged, so we'll go with the Night Elf uh, that way. Like, I expect more uh, more more people with uh, needing help with ranged micro uh, watching this audio so probably get more uh, night elf and human players watching this audio so uh, yeah this is going to be a, an audio on ranged micro uh, I did m melee mi uh, micro last time pretty much so this will uh, be for ranged micro hopefully you guys are at the two minute mark um, soju this point of view uh, fog of war off just cause Headache does get a lot of range in this game as well, and it does have some decent micro. So, uh, let's get this baby unpaused in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, unpause. So, that was at the 2 minute mark, and uh, Soju's point of view, Fog of War off. So, basically, range micro. The key to range micro is um, shift Q. Uh, a lot of good players do this. Uh, I myself do this as well whenever I micro with ranged units. Um, what that is, is you, you're queuing up an at uh, attack so that once your your army is done focusing down one unit, it will focus down the, the next unit automatically without you even ha having to do uh, anything. Uh, like... You don't have to uh, retarget all the time. You c you can do that the first time you enter battle, and it's a lot quicker, a lot more effective, and uh, almost all the professionals u use it. Yeah. So, uh, what to do this? You use your shift uh, button, and you shift and you right click on the uh, the unit that you want to attack after you're done focus firing the first one. So the first one you're going to right click, then you're going to shift right click, shift right click on a bunch of other units in the, their army. Uh, there is a problem with this however, the uh, sometimes if they run that unit back that's being uh, focus fired, your whole army will start chasing after it. If you see that, you're going to have to stop your whole army and uh, refocus fire on another, a new unit. However, uh, say, uh, it's better to use the shift Q rather than uh, rather than uh, just a manually always focus firing. It's a lot uh, more effective. And okay, so we'll go over some uh, some like order to micro in with range as I did with my melee audio. Uh, first of all, you want to have a good position. I mean that's that's a really important part of any battle. And both players here they. They're very good at that. Uh, you'll, I'll show you a, a part later on in the game where Headache, uh, he pretty much won this game because of a, a good position and some uh, really good micro in the last battle. But uh, if he would have fought in, a, in another position uh, ra and trying to save a, a few peons, he probably would have lost the game. So uh, position, again, is a very important uh, part. You want to try to have a, a nice... A nice small opening in front of you as Night Elf or, or anything using ranged where uh, their units will clump up and all your units will uh, are able to uh, to shoot. For example, you see where the uh, Soju is right now? If you go a little bit south of there, you, you just want to be uh, right, right 
like not inside the narrow space, just right outside of it. So when he's in the narrow space, you can just focus, fire him down, and, and all his units won't be uh, hitting yours. So that's a perfect position right there. On the other hand, you do not want to be uh, putting yourself in one of those positions. So even when creeping, uh, use the uh, shift Q. I'm sure many of you guys do that uh, right now. Uh, wh when you're creeping, uh, just right click on the creep you want to, and then uh, just keep on uh, shift uh, clicking all the uh, all the the guys. I even do this um, for uh, melee creeping. I select some of my units and just uh, shift Q. That way, I don't really have to watch them. Uh, I can go do something else right now because I'm pretty sure all my units are going to be creeping this camp as fast as I can and uh, I can micro them pretty good or at least well enough that they don't die especially with grunts. Now uh, when you enter a battle the first thing you think about is position. After that uh, I would start using uh, hero spells. Uh, as Night Elf though you want to you wanna be summoning uh, your summons before the uh, the battle rather than uh, during you want to have like two or three summons up before you hit battle before you enter the battle so uh, hero spells aren't a big uh, a factor if you're using summon heroes otherwise use your mana burn fan of kni knives entangle and whatnot after that you want to be starting to uh, focus fire with all your units so uh, again using shift uh, shift Q uh, focus fire all the uh, units and then I'd uh, start to do uh, start to do uh, defensive micro where you move your weak units back now uh, as night elf or any team using a ranged units you don't want to be oh sorry I'll talk about that later so right here you see how uh, all of the archers were chasing after that one ha head hunter. Sometimes, uh, if you know if you know you can get it, that's that's great. But sometimes you're gonna have to stop all your archers and refocus on something else. Uh, right there, Soju did a good job of focusing down on a headache's units. A headache, uh, I don't know. He's probably not as used to microing range ranged units as well as Soju is. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, what was I talking about before? Hmm, I forget. Anyways, so after, uh, oh yeah, defensive micro. Like, you never want to attack move into a, a battle. Uh, your units aren't going to be focusing, f and their units are just going to slaughter yours if you don't focus fire. That's, that's why ranged units are so good in this game is because they're, they're so good at killing one unit so fast, it's very hard to micro that unit. That, that's what uh, makes them so good. And that's that's why uh, Night Elf is probably one of the I don't know better races, but their damage output is a lot higher than uh, say orcs, just their units, not their heroes or whatnot. But uh, like a whole army of grunts versus archer talent, I don't think uh, the grunt thing and uh, I guess some raiders and catapults is gonna win just because of the focus fire. Like it's too good. Anyways, um, so you're, you've done a uh, good position, then you've started using your hero spells, after that you've shift uh, queued up attacks, and then you're starting to work on defensive micro. That, that's pretty much the order in uh, what you do for ranged micro. So another battle here is going to occur, and uh, Soju wants a good position here. As you can see, a headache just focused down that... that uh, a druid of the Talonair, and it went down really quick. So, right here, we have Soju again trying to get a pe better position, and now he's going to start focusing down on the headhunter. So, he's probably right clicked that one headhunter, and now has shift clicked several other headhunters, uh, in which he can now just micro defensively. He sees, uh, he sees, uh, headache running now, so he's gonna focus down on the, uh, Dark Ranger. So, he stopped using the shift Q once once his opponent was running and then started to use uh, then started to use uh, just regular focus firing now here he's going to lose his uh, demon hunter uh, that that's one thing that's uh, bad about the strategy with leaving your D, uh, DH at such a low level is he's very vulnerable especially with this uh, 
the Skrull combo from Headache with the uh, Naga, Farseer, and Dark Ranger. So you just you make sure you, you watch him. Probably always buy a health pot or two for him, uh, which uh, Soju will be doing later on in the game. So that w uh, that battle event went very well for uh, Soju. Uh, he definitely had the better micro that game and better position. Uh, he killed uh, like a few headhunters and also the Dark Ranger, so that was really nice. Again, uh, while he's creeping, he's just uh, shift queuing up his uh, attacks and whatnot. Now, uh, from the orcs' point of view, uh, that's a different unit strategy that uh, we don't see uh, too often. Uh, it's definitely a, a different and probably a good uh, counter to. Uh, Mass talons. I mean the uh, the troll berserkers do extra damage to them, uh, as well as they're they're small food, so you can produce lots of them. And his cyclones are not going to be as effective compared to as if they were on like a five food unit such as a tauron. Now he has a triple hero here, dark 